The Sleeping Souls have been my kind of permanent band that I play with since 2008, although they weren't called that for a while because it took ages to come up with a name. Um, but they're, they're great, they're an integral part of what I do, I mean, as, as well as being friends and tour buddies and all the rest of it. They, um, we Generally speaking, I sort of write the songs and then we arrange them together and it sort of becomes a collective process at that point. In the past, there were kind of various kind of small ego battles going on, and now it's great because I think we're all old and wise enough to know that the thing that should win the argument is the song every time. So sometimes I know best, and sometimes other people know best, and we all just kind of work towards making it sound really good. Working with Rich was really great. It was really interesting. I've never worked with a producer at that level before because um, he's, he's like top of the game, you know. And he was, he was amazing. He was, I mean, he was. Uh, borderline autistic with his attention to detail. He's a really funny, really nice guy. He, um, I think, he, the main thing that he brought to the, to the record was just, to, as, as well as everything sounding fantastic, but also more importantly, he kind of pushed me and my band to dig deeper for performances than we've ever done before. I mean, there was one song where he made me do 42 vocal takes. I usually do four, and uh, I wanted to kill him for most of that time, but it, I was glad it did because, you know, we did find something else performance-wise. So, uh, yeah, I think there's a lot more kind of soul on the record, thanks to Rich. It's one of the kind of more rock songs on the record, if you like, um, sort of full band, pedal to the metal arrangements, but uh, I, I really like it. It's one of the kind of darker, rawer songs on the album as well, um, but uh, people seem to like it, which is good, because I like it too. Danny was in charge of the opening ceremony and, and it turns out he's a massive fan and, and like a proper kind of knows the b-sides and the alternative versions and all that kind of business so um which was disarming but but very cool being asked to do it was as simple as getting a phone call saying can you come into this office in London and have a meeting with Danny Boyle and I was like okay I knew who Danny Boyle was and I, I think I knew he was doing the Olympics um but that was about it and I sort of assumed it must be to do something else really and then uh got there and it was just like okay he actually wants me to be part of it and he Danny's job was to present a picture of the UK and, and he said that he felt that what I do fits into that and that's a huge compliment you know uh, he'd also when I got there he'd edited together a mock of the whole opening ceremony using like animation graphics and stuff and he'd already cut some footage of me playing from YouTube into it so I was kind of already there <laughs>